Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition, exciting edition of High School Basketball, brought to you by HighSchoolCube.com, the leading broadcast platform for high schools. My name is Emil Williams, Jr., alongside Jim McAteer, our executive producer on site this evening. We are live at Immaculate Conception High School in Elmhurst, Illinois, where the Knights will take on the Lyle Lions. The Lions looking to come in and steal one, a non-conference matchup. Lyle looking to come in and take one on the road versus a tough Immaculate Conception squad. This Knights team, 13-1 overall on the season, began things with a perfect 12-0 record, won their first 12 games, including the Westminster Christian Thanksgiving Tournament and the Immaculate Conception Christmas Tournament. Their only blemish, now a loss to Nazareth, with a, which occurred excuse me, on January 3rd, which seems uh, so long ago as we are now late, or quite late, or midway through, if you will, uh, the first month of the new year in 2012 of January. So 13-1 and one for Immaculate Conception, while the Lyle Lions 5-11 and 11 overall, but they've got a couple of scores with Kazim Khan and Cam Bell doing some damage on the offensive end. A 5-11 and 11 record, a tough schedule as they play inside the Interstate Aid Conference, 2-4 and four inside that conference as well. We will take one short break, come back, starting lineups, opening tip-off for you on the Right around the corner, national anthem being played right here at Immaculate Conception. This is HighSchoolCube.com, the leading broadcast platform for high schools. Welcome back to the Cube, live at Immaculate Conception High School. Emil Williams Jr., Jim McAteer here with you. And to be the Knights versus the Lyle Lions. Again, a non-conference matchup. Here early January, close to the midpoint of the month, if you will. Almost about halfway through the basketball season, as a matter of fact. The starting lineups for the Lyle Lions will look a little something like this, of course. A couple of seniors. I should say lots of seniors on this squad, several in the starting lineup. One senior, two seniors, three seniors. Pat Webb, number 10. Kazim Khan, number 11, I talked about. And Cam Bell, number 12, the starting lineup. Julian Velasquez in the front court, number 22. And Jeremy Glavanovitz rounding out the starting five for Lyle. Glavanovich, just a sophomore. Three sophomores on this varsity squad. Senior late with a sprinkle of juniors as well for Lyle. And for the Knights of Immaculate Conception. In the backcourt, senior number 15, Jason Dunn. Also in the backcourt with him, number three, 
John Chang, he can light it up as well. In the front court, number 22, Dan Rabondo, he's a senior. One junior cracking the starting five for Immaculate Conception, number 24, Demetrius Carr. And rounding out the starting five in the front court, Brian Harvey, the senior. So four seniors and one junior. A lot of experience for this Immaculate Conception squad. The Knights, again, 13-1, and one, a perfect 5-0 and oh inside the Suburban Christian Blue. The Lyle Lions, 5-11. and 11. Two games below 500 in the conference. That is the Interstate 8. The Knights in the home whites. Navy blue. Gray trim. Lyle in the road blue. Road navy blue. White and red trim. It'll be Dan Rabondo and Jeremy Glavanovitz to tip things off. The tip was up. Looks like somebody jumped early, so it'll be Lion basketball. Lions basketball, one second. Just underway here, first quarter. To inbound is Velasquez. And now it'll be Pat Webb. Webb, now Velasquez on the left wing up top. Khan, right side, Bell. Again, Bell and Khan can score the basketball with the quickness. Here's Pat Webb running the show, the point guard position. Now Velasquez has again up top. It's Khan. Khan. To dump out now to Glavanovitz. He's at the three. He is poked out by John Chang. Chang has no numbers. Driving baseline. Leaves it short. And in fact, he left it off the side of the backboard. No score here. Early first quarter. Another turnover. So two turnovers already for the Lions. And John Chang has two steals. So for the here, excuse me, for the Knights. And quickly a turnover for the Knights as Brian Harvey cannot handle the feed from Jason Dunn. So here is Webb. No score here. Now one minute inside the first quarter. Webb inside Khan on the block. Turning, turning, fading. Jumper no good. Rebound hauled down by Brian Harvey. Here comes Chang. Chang at the free throw line. Now Jason Dunn holds. Dunn and looking. Referee begins the five-second count. Harvey for three. It's good. Well, Brian Harvey gets the scoring started. It's three to nothing now in favor of the Knights. 6.20 left to play. Khan. Cut off at the baseline with a double team. Shot is no good. Rebound, Chang. Chang with two steals and a rebound. Up ahead, Harvey. Now he has five points. So Chang now with two steals, a rebound, and an assist. Already a stat stuffer for the senior. Under five, or excuse me, under six to play, and now we have a foul underneath. Foul is on Demetrius Carr. That is his first personal. So at the free throw nine is Julian Velasquez. Southpaw stroke. First one is good for Velasquez. Lyle with a little size on this squad. A couple of guys standing at 6'5". Offensive rebound by Khan. The putback is good for Kazim Khan. Khan, very explosive. He's got a basketball body, very toned, very muscular for the young man. Khan, as well as many of these individuals, of course. Always looking to go and play at the next level. Almost a turnover now. And instead, it's a corner three try. It's no good. By Dan Rabondo, now a quick steal. Bell had it, but he steps on the end line. The ball will remain in favor of the Knights. Rabondo to inbound. Here's Dunn. Thought about the three. Chang up top. Chang picked up by Khan. That'll be an interesting matchup. He finds a wide open. 
Demetrius Carr underneath, and he lays it in. So Chang, the facilitator, so far, no points again, but a couple of steals, a couple of assists. And he gives his team a 7-3 lead. Here's Cam Bell. Baseline jumper no good. Rebound Harvey up ahead. Carr. Carr racing down the right side. Looking to go baseline. Cut off by Khan. Now it's Chang. Jumper. Good for John Chang. Uh, John Chang now into the scoring column. It's 9-3. A quick six-point advantage. And then a... Quick foul underneath on the interior pass to Glavanovitz. The foul from behind by Dan Rabonda. The first substitution now is Nick Saul checks in for Cam Bell. That's the second team foul on the Knights. Khan, three on the way, back iron no good, long rebound controlled by Pat Webb. He'll fire three, off the glass and good, and said the ref calls it a two. So Pat Webb now on the board. First two points of the ball game. It's nine to five. Rabondo, reverse layup, hits underneath the basket. Offensive rebound, however, Knights, and they control. Chang inside the dump off. Rabondo, too strong again. Rebound by Glavanovitz for the Lyle Lions. Webb working against Dunn to bring it across the timeline. Khan, left side. Saul just checked in. Weak side rebound. Glavanovitz had it, but he steps out of bounds. Substitutions now for the Knights. Charlie Pekonik will check into the ball game as well as number 33, Mike Lestina. Rabondo Dunn will check out. So here's Carr, along with Chang, Pokolnik, Harvey, and Lestina on the floor for Immaculate Conception. Inside, Carr, layup is good. They tried the alley-oop, a little too strong, and able to come down, gather himself, is Demetrius Carr, who lays it in. So now another quick foul. This time it's on Brian Harvey. Third team foul for Immaculate Conception. One on Harvey, one on Rabondo, and one on Demetrius Carr. And now a double dribble or a turnover in the lane from Glavanovitz. Glen, excuse me, Cam Bell now will check in for Pat Webb. 3.30 left to play here first quarter. Here's Carr. Cross court now Chang. Oh, what a pass inside. Harvey too strong. Offensive rebound for Harvey, and the putback is good. Oh, Brian Harvey now with seven. 13 to five, your score. Immaculate Conception on top. Here's Khan in the lane. Two steps. Leaves it short. Rebound on the ground. Out of bounds. It'll be Lyle basketball with three minutes exactly remaining. Emil Williams Jr. here with you, also known as EJ, on the high school Q video circuit. Feel free to call me that, of course, if you'd like to. Jim McAteer, he's got a few nicknames, J-Mac, Jimmy Mac. Any other Macs you can think of, he'll probably call you or go by it. Jumper well short by Khan, the offensive rebound by Nick Saul, and he lays it in. So Saul has his first two points. Off the offensive rebound, now 13 to seven, your score. Conception. There's Carr in the lane. Fade jumper, no good, but a foul on the shot. It'll be the first team foul on Lyle. The foul was called on Nick Saul. That is his first personal. Two-shot foul. Demetrius Carr at the free throw line, looking to add to his point total. First one is good for Demetrius. Seven-point lead for Immaculate Conception. Head coach by Darren Howard. Again, start of the season 12-0. A win at the Westminster Christ Christian Thanksgiving Tournament. And they won their own Christmas tournament 
as Velasquez will check out well back in for the Lions. Carr hit both free throws. He now has six. And it's an eight-point advantage for the Knights. A little 2-1-2 pressure applied here. They get it over to Bell. Bell around the double team. Back out. Khan short on the three. Looked like it was partially blocked. Rebound Harvey. And Harvey loses it. Cam Bell was there to take the steal or try to take the steal. And Harvey, in a rush to turn his body, lost the dribble. Now the 1 2 2. And Cam Bell is fouled. Trying to get around Mike Lestina. He would be called for the personal. Again, a foul on Mike Lestina. That is the fourth team foul. 2 0 6 remaining here, first quarter of action. Oh, great pass. Khan can't get it to go. It trickled on the rim. He thought he was fouled. Great pass from Nick Saul. Fantastic inbounds play. Khan can't get it to go. So far, Khan and Bell having trouble on the offensive end. Some talent on this Lyle squad. There's a quick steal by Cam Bell. Harvey threw it right to him. Let's see if Bell can get the party started. Here's Saul holding at the top of the key. Left side. Again, it's Khan. Kazim Khan now will dribble. Up top. Bounce pass. Over to Glavanovich, back to Khan, right side. Khan in the lane, one on three, working his way, been a foul. So the foul will be called, or was called on Charlie. Polkanek. That is his first personal. Kazim Khan, meanwhile, is good at the free throw line. Khan with his third point. Brian Harvey now will check out of the ball game. Into the game for the first time for Immaculate Conception is Adam Mullers. Two for two for Kazim Khan. That's a six-point lead for the Knights. 120 left to play. Carr. Double team, baseline, Bukonic and throws it away, trying to get it to Lestina. Bukonic had the baseline, so a turnover for the senior. Lions quickly break the pressure. They go inside to Glavanovic. He leaves the layup short, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by the Knights. Glavanovic, you see the promise in the sophomore starting on the varsity team with some size at 6'5. Now Shane Murray checks into the ball game. Murray, it's Murray, Con, Webb, Bell, and Saul on the floor for Lyle now with a minute left to play. Here's Cam Bell on the left side. Oh, good jab step. Shot won't go, however. Rebound trickles right to him. Can't get the jumper to go, and he gets his own rebound. 45 seconds left to play. Cam Bell, very quick. He's got a nasty jab on the first step. So here's Khan. Three good for Kazim Khan. The assist to Cam Bell. You can tell Bell and Khan have played with each other for quite some time. They do have a solid chemistry. It's Definitely on display here as the Lions now cut the deficit to three. 15 seconds left here, first quarter. See the Knights want to hold for the final shot. John Chang. Chang bounce pass. Carr wide open for three. No good. Rebound with five seconds left. Lions. Here comes Khan with three. Khan with two. Looks. Fakes. Fires. Three. Well short. He had Bell wide open. And he will go over, give him a shake. Dewey missing wide open on that one. 15 to 12 year score at the end of one. The Knights lead the Lions here at Immaculate Conception High School. This is HighSchoolCube.com, the leading broadcast platform for high schools.
Welcome back to HighSchoolCube.com, the leading broadcast platform for high schools. Again, we are broadcasting live right here on HighSchoolCube.com. If you are enjoying our broadcast, let your friends know, text your friends, share on Facebook, update your status on Twitter, and of course, we'd really appreciate it. John Chang appreciates the Lyle defense, allowing him to get to the basket and score the layup. So Chang now with four. And John Chang being the great facilitator on offense that he is. Again, a stat sheet stuff. A couple of steals, a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, and now with four points. Extends the lead to five for Immaculate Conception. Con a three. No good. Rebound Murray. Oh, well, a foul. We're going the other way. Is it on 44? Indeed it is. Foul is on Shane Murray. Working hard for position. Here's Harvey. Rebondo. Chang on the left side is Carr. And a steal by Kazim Khan. He's got Campbell to his left. Khan will take it. Finger roll. Rolls off the front side of the rim. No good. Rebound Brian Harvey. Here come the Knights. Khan has missed some, some easy shots, we'll say. He's also looked like he's maybe forced a couple. That one had to just roll off the rim and then a travel violation on Rabondo. Adam Muller's also into the game. Couple of substitutions. Looks like we'll have a timeout call. And well, we will have a timeout. A 30 second timeout by Coach Howard. 17 to 12 your score. A five point advantage for Immaculate Conception. Again. We are broadcasting live on HighSchoolCube.com. Please register on HighSchoolCube to save and share your favorite games, highlight clips. We invite you to save those so you can share them with your family and friends. Again, all action broadcast live on HighSchoolCube.com. The replay and highlight clips made it available immediately following the contest. If you are a, a social interactor, we invite you to like our Facebook page. You can find us at High School Cube, of course. Like us on Twitter as well, or follow us on Twitter, I should say. The handle, of course, is at High School Cube. And then a quick turnover by the Lions. That by Corey Brinkner. Check that. That by Johnny Perillo. So here's Chain, the lob, Carr can't handle, but right into the hands of Mullers. Carr, this time it's a three, and it's right on bank. Carr with the three, and another timeout. This time by Lyle, another 30-second timeout. So the two teams will trade timeouts. There's a three-point lead coming into the second quarter, and now it's been extended to eight, a quick five-to-nothing run put on by the Knights after the Demetrius Carr three. So Carr now with nine so far here early in the second quarter. Again, like our Facebook page. Find us on Facebook at High School Cube. Like us, of course. If you're on Twitter, please follow us at High School Cube. You can follow myself, Neil Williams Jr., my handle, of course, is at EWJR. Chang had the steal, and then it's quickly stolen from him by Saul. And now Khan is throwing a pass. He wasn't looking. Bell a little quick on the pass. So Lyle looking to be in a bit of disarray. Let's see if they're timeout called. That might be backcourt violation right there. Bell caught the pass. On the front side, and then took two steps backwards. Referee was right there, said it wasn't. How about that? Saw the turnaround baseline jumper, no good. Chang there with a the rebound. Here come the Knights. Chang, right side of Redondo. Redondo, shot, no good. Harvey there, rebound, counted, and a foul, and a putback. O'Brien Harvey.
Foul is on Julian Velasquez, who checked back into the ball game. Velasquez, Saul, Bell, Kahn, and Webb on the floor for Lyle. Harvey looking to convert the three-point play along with Chang, Carr, Ribondo, and Adam Mullers, and another quick steal. Inside, Chain, quick pass, layup underneath from Mullers, good, and this time it's a full timeout call by the Lyle Lions. Wow. Ten to nothing run put on by Immaculate Conception, and head coach Mark LaScala calls a full timeout. A three-point play by Brian Harvey, and then a quick steal by Harvey. Chang the assist on the layup by Adam Mullers, his first two points of the ball game. So Immaculate Conception, representing the Suburban Christian Blue Conference, 13-1 overall, 5-0 inside the conference. This is a non-conference matchup as Lyle represents the Interstate 8. Both, however, in Class 2A may see each other down the line again. But this Lyle squad has given up 10 straight points. They've got a couple of pieces on the squad, a lot of talent, but so far it's been immaculate conception that has seemed to knock down shots and get all five guys on the same page all at the same time. And that's a tough task to ask for anybody, especially in the game of basketball. You need all five guys to work most of the time, of course. You can get your superstars who can carry you. But not every team has a superstar. This is a very balanced offense. Speaking of the Immaculate Conception Knights. So out of the timeout, again pressure in the backcourt by Immaculate Conception. Khan gets it over the timeline. Webb, now Bell right side. Bell. There's Webb up top. They give it to him. Now it's Velasquez on the left side. Khan, again, top of the key three. No good. And a foul underneath, and we'll be staying right here. Fouls on John Chang. That is his first personal. The team six, so one more. The bonus time for Lyle. Poor inbound play right there as well. Thought Bell was heading to the middle. He just lobbed it up in the middle. Nobody was there but the Knights. Chang loses, now gives way to Carr. On the left side is Demetrius Carr with 5.15 left to play. Carr now brings it up to the middle. On the right side is Redondo. Excuse me, Redondo. Inside, Mullers layup good. The assist to Brian Harvey. Mullers with the position. Down low, and it's a 12 to nothing run. Here's Velasquez, full head of steam, left-hand layup, good. Boy, nobody stopped the ball. Coach Howard probably not going to be happy about that. But Velasquez ends the 12-0 run. It's 27-14, Immaculate Conception with the lead. Here in Elmhurst, Chang loses, steal by Velasquez. One on two, Velasquez blocked from behind. I think Harvey, maybe Rabundo, both may have gotten a piece of that. It's out of bounds. It'll be Conception basketball. Jason Dunn now will check in. Chang will check out. 4.29 left to play. Well, up again to inbound. He finds Khan. Khan struggling with his shot. Had Velasquez a pass right into the hands of Webb. Jumper no good. Rebound Ribondo. Here come the Knights looking to push up ahead. Harvey, Harvey off the window and good. Brian Harvey. Having himself a solid basketball game. Harvey now with 12 points. 29-14. Saul trying to get two back. Khan can't get the put back off the offensive rebound. It's been that kind of night for Kazim Khan. Here's Carr. Thought about the three. We'll bring it back out. Dribbling now at the circle. Right side is Mullers. Dunn had the post up on Bell. Tries to set the back screen for Rabundo. Dribble drive in the baseline is Mullers, and he steps out of bounds. So checking in now for the Lyle Lions is Jeremy. Mr. Glavanovic checks in for Kazim Khan. 3.40 left to play until halftime. 
29 to 14 your score. A couple of big runs, including a 12-0 run put on by Immaculate Conception. Webb working against Carr. Now Velasquez and Carr knocks it out of bounds. A couple of a lot of size on this squad as well. Talked about the size, a couple of six five individuals for Lyle. Immaculate Conception counters with a couple of guys at 6-4. Rabondo stands at 6-4. Listina at 6-4. Bell is fouled on the baseline. Mullers is 6-3. So they have a collection of height. Fouls on Jason Dunn. It was a shooting foul, so Cam Bell will shoot two free throws nonetheless. That is the seventh team foul, however, on Immaculate Conception. Free throw is good for Cam Bell. Kazim Khan now will check back in after a quick breather. And Julian Velasquez will check out. 3.22 left to play. EJ, Emil Williams Jr. here with you. Along with Jim McAteer. One for two goes Cam Bell. Just one point on the night. 29 to 15 now your score. 3-12 left to play. Dancing around up top was Harvey. Now they get into the hands of Jason Dunn. Mullers wants to set the screen. Dunn wants to go baseline. Give and go. Mullers had it tipped away, but a foul. A quick foul. And Coach Lascala wants a explanation and he didn't he didn't think it was a shooting foul but that is what they call they say he was gathering himself to go up for the layup foul meanwhile was on Patrick Webb that's his first personal fourth team foul is Adam Mullers at the free throw line strokes the first one 301 left to play second quarter to give a shout out to all those watching and viewing live on HighSchoolCube.com. Of course, we appreciate your viewership. You, the fan, the most important without your viewership. We wouldn't be where we are today. Here's Bell, full head of steam. Had it tipped out by Dumb, but right into the hands of Glavanovitz. And they cannot get a basket to fall, folks. And now Cam Bell with the wheels. Steals it from Brian Harvey. Well, Cam Bell, he has to run track. Cam Bell, I wouldn't be surprised if he plays football as well. He is that quick, very muscular. He has the basketball. Up top, Khan would have been a quick steal had Harvey had his hands up. 2.28 left to play, 31 to 15. It's been all night, especially here in the second quarter. And now done with the steal. A chain control for the Knights. Back into the game is Mike Lestina, as well as Brian Harvey. Carr took a seat as well as Adam Mullers. Coming up on two minutes left to play here first half. Poor pass there from Harvey. Lestina was fronted in a double team. Threw it right into the hands of Nick Salt. And that's one of the, that's how you know the day is not going or your night's not going the way you'd like. The 10 second call in the backcourt as Patrick Webb was just kind of listening to his coach, trying to get the things going, trying to get the play, not paying attention to the count. 145 left to play. Now it's Chang. Or the Pocconic. And it's out of bounds off the cone. So back-to-back -back turnovers, but immaculate conception. Still in full-on control. This is the game of basketball, so we, I fully expect a run put on by the Lions. If Khan and Bell can get going offensively, might see some action here. Ball kicked out of bounds. It'll be Lions basketball. One minute, 24 seconds remaining here first half. Your score, Immaculate Conception 31, 
The Lyle Lions, 15. Your announcer, Mill Williams Jr. Your producer, Jim McAteer. Here's Nick Saul, now Khan jumper, free throw line, it won't go, but a foul. Foul is on Charlie Pocolnik. That's his second personal. Now the eighth team foul for the Knights. One and one situation for Kazim Khan. First one is good. Khan three for three from the free throw stripe. One, one, one on the game clock. Make it three out of four, a long rebound, out of bounds. Last touch by Listina for the Knights. It'll be Lions basketball, another chance to cut into this lead. Webb has been the inbounder. Got to hurry, got to hurry. Up top, it's Khan. Khan puts it on the ground. Back out to Glavanovic, and he's fouled. Late decision on the part of Khan. Wanted to go up with it, but saw Glavanovic on the left side on his way down. So now nine team fouls. The foul was called on Jason Dunn. On a two-shot foul as Glavanovic makes the first. That is his first point and his first free throw. Lestina checks out. Pat Radaha will check in for the first time. Glavanovic, one of two from the stripe. Out of bounds on the box out attempt. Saul touched it last. Velasquez comes in now for Lyle. Glavanovic will check out. Jason Dunn with two personal fouls. Now under one minute to play. 31 to 17. And then a timeout called by Jason Dunn as he's double teamed on the left side. Well, Jason Dunn, instead of battling to get the ball out of his hands, does the smart thing and calls the timeout. Just under a minute left to play. A lot of action playing for you here in 2012. Highschoolcube.com. Of course, a busy January and February basketball season. Hope to have some postseason action as well. Of course, we look forward to the spring sports as well. Baseball. Looking to do some perhaps uh, men's volleyball, if I'm not mistaken. Baseball season is definitely occur. All in all, looking at several sports. And it's not just sports either. You do plays, whatever your school would like to do. High School Cube is able to do it. Webb almost had the steal, but he steps out of bounds. Here's Radaha to inbound. It's tapped by Velasquez, controlled by Cam Bell. It comes Bell. They've got a two-on-two. Two. Bell too fast. Scoop layup on goal, but a foul. Cam Bell is like a blur on the basketball court. Foul is on Pekonik. That's his third person. Tenth team foul. With 37 and a half left here in the first half. Cam Bell, free throw is good. Bell now two for three from the stripe. He has two points. Trying to make it 31-19, he does just that. 35 seconds left. Boy, the Knights in, in no hurry to slow down, if that makes sense. Foul is on Cam Bell. He's got John Chang on his way to the basket. First personal on Cam Bell. Chang at the free throw line, shooting two. His first one is good. Kolnick, Dunn, check out. Harvey Carr back in. Radaha, Harvey, Chang, Carr, 
Rabundo on the floor for the Knights. Khan, Velasquez, Bell, Saul, and Webb on the floor for Lyle. Rims in and out of the second free throw. So Chang goes one of two. 26 seconds left to play. Webb's got to get it over. Got to pay attention. He got caught with that earlier. 20 seconds left to play. 32-19. A three can get it back to 10. 15 now. Here's Webb. Saul. Left wing. Cross court. Webb. Dangerous pass. Webb's jumper no good. Velasquez, the offensive rebound. A shot is blocked. And then Radaha saves into Velasquez. He puts it up with a foul. A 3.1 left. Foul was on Pat Radaha. That's his first. So now two free throws can cut it to 11. First one is good for Velasquez, the southpaw. He has four. 12-point lead, trying to cut it to 11. It'll be monumental for Lyle heading into the half, and he does. Converts on a pair, 32-21, 2.5 left. Chain got to get it up off the right side of the glass. Entertaining first half, but Immaculate Conception dominated the first half. A brief run by Lyle towards the end of the second quarter. Score still remains 32-21, 11-point lead for the Knights. We'll head to the half. First half stats on the way. This is HighSchoolCube.com, the leading broadcast platform for high school.
Second half on the way on HighSchoolCube.com. Neil Williams, Jr. here with you alongside Jim McAteer. 32-21, Immaculate Conception with the lead. They dominate it. The entire first half, a brief, brief run by Lyle, but nothing compares to the 12-0 run put on by Immaculate Conception to begin the second quarter. Lead got as high as 16. Now it's 32-21. Brian Harvey led all scorers with 12 points. Demetrius Carr with nine for Immaculate Conception. Six by Adam Mullers and five from John Chang. And for the Lyle Lions, two from Patrick Webb. Eight points from Kazim Khan. Four. Well, check that five from Julian Velasquez, one from Jeremy Glavanovitz. Glavanovitz, I beg your pardon. Quick shot by Cam Bell. His three-pointer is no good. John Chang able to haul down the rebound after it trickled two or three times. Dunn looking to push the pace inside Harvey, and Brian Harvey will go to the line. Foul is on, Glavonovitz. That's his first. Harvey misses his first free throw of the night. Harvey's second rims in and out as well. Rebound, Khan. So Lyle getting a couple breaks early. Here's Bell, the dump off in the lane. Glavonovitz, layup no good. Rebound, out of bounds. Demetrius Carr could not handle. Let's see if Coach Lascala can get the troops to put on a quick run here. And of course, Immaculate Conception to rethink things. Here's Webb. Bell with an open layup. It's good after John Chang slipped on the steal attempt. Oh, Cam Bell now with his first field goal. He now has five. Three for four from the free throw line. 32-23 now under double digits into single digits. Carr, layup good. Boy, defense left Carr to dribble alone, and he went right into the middle of the defense. Well, Demetrius Carr now with 11. Layup missed on the front iron by Kahn, out of bounds. Ball will remain in favor of Lyle. Patrick Webb to inbound. Lyle going left to right on your video screen. Webb has to go up top. It's Khan. Khan looking to cross over on Harvey. Now it's Patrick Webb. 6.38 left to play. Here's Khan. Looking, looking. Over to Webb. Webb, now Bell. And then we've got some extracurricular between Velasquez and Carr. And the foul will go on Velasquez. Set the illegal screen. Second person on Julian Velasquez. Now one team foul apiece here in the second half for both squads. 6.15 left to play. Starting five on the floor for both teams. And a collision amongst teammates as Khan and Velasquez collide with one another, attempting to go for the steal. The student section looks like here at Immaculate Conception in the far left corner of the bleachers. Rabundo's layup won't go, and then we've got a loose ball and a tie-up between Bell and Dunn. It'll be Conception basketball. It'll be night ball. With 6.03 left to play in the third quarter. Slow to develop. Score was 32-21 at the half. 
So far on this floor, Immaculate Conception is 1-0. I'm speaking up today as Demetrius Carr. And a quick timeout again by Coach La Scala. As right now, it's 4-2. to two In favor of the Knights here in the second half. But the, the sophomore squad of the Knights defeated Lyle 60-47 earlier today. So the varsity squad looking to keep the momentum and the winning ways going versus the Lyle Lions here. We are broadcasting live on HighSchoolCube.com. High School Cube provides absolutely every single high school team and club in America their own cube to broadcast. Visit HighSchoolCube.com forward slash get started to start broadcasting your team today. Emil Williams Jr., Jim McAteer, live at Immaculate Conception High School. The Knights taking on the Lyle Lions. Velasquez inbound to Bell. Double teamed up top. Velasquez, he'll get it across the timeline out to the front court on the left side and then a foul. Foul was on the left side as Velasquez looked to make the move. Foul was on Jason Dunn. That is his third personal. Second team foul. Oh, great pass. Khan. Has to get it in, and he does. The turn and the swish off the glass for Kazim Khan. He has 10. So Khan now into double figures. 36-25 with 5.30 left to play. Here in the third quarter, Knights with a comfortable lead. Still at 11 points. Chang inside. Harvey, offensive foul, Brian Harvey. Brian Harvey. A little out of control, trying to go middle. And now with 5.18 left to play, again an opportunity to take it to single digits for the Lions. Bell, the blur. We'll call him the blur. Dump off. Glavanovic, it's good. It's a nine-point lead. First field goal for Jeremy Glavanovic. 36 to 27. Five minutes left. Chang working against Cam Bell. Bell almost had the steal. Dump off. Chain to Harvey. Layup good. Chain to Harvey. Sure, that happens a lot here. Bell, the quick jump shot, no good. 38-27. Here come the Knights. Carr wanted on the left side. He was open for about 10 seconds. Now it's Rabondo top of the key. Puts it on the ground. In the lane. Wild shot. Rebound, Glavonovitz. Here's Bell. Well, back to Bell, three, left wing, well short, rebound again, Chang. Chang with a three on two. Rabondo left side, way to run the fast break. John Chang to Rabondo. So Dan Rabondo gets into the scoring column. It's 40 to 27. What was once again quickly a nine point advantage as Lyle got it to within single digits now to a 13 point lead in a quick four to nothing run here. Bell corner, Boyab up top. 3.53 left to play here, third quarter. Velasquez. Bell again, he'll fire another three. This time it's short again. Glavanovic had it. Now it's Carr. Carr looking to push. Looking against Bell. The dump off, Rabundo back out top. Chang sets the screen. Rabundo tries to split the double team. Hits the deck, and a foul is called. I was on blue 10. That is Patrick Webb. Second foul on Patrick Webb. Substitutions now is done. Rabondo will check out. Mike Listina. Adam Muller's check in. For Lyle Glavanovic will check out. Nick Saul checks in with 332. Oh, wow. What an inbounds pass. The old catch him sleeping play right there is Listina wide open in the middle. Lestina with the great defense and then a push on the knee. Oh, what a tough call. Lestina had the great defense on Cam Bell, forced him to throw up with a wild shot. And then they get him for the foul underneath on the rebound attempt. 
Oh, Johnny Perillo now will check in for Cam Bell, but a tough shooting night for Cam Bell. A foul was on Mike Lestina. That's his second personal. Third team foul for the Knights. Three on the Lyle, the Lyle Lions as well. Up top, Khan in the middle. Thought he wanted to take that, put it up in one motion. Again, another foul. Ball ricochets all the way to the bleachers right in front of us next to the scorer's table. This time the foul is called on Brian Harvey. He's not sure what he did to be called for his third personal foul. It results in Kazim Khan at the free throw line preparing to shoot two free throws. Khan, free throw, rattles on in. So Bell... With a quick breather, Perillo checks out. Khan, second free throw is good. Seen Khan, five of six from the free throw line, but Adam Mullers gets free underneath again. He's had a couple of easy layups, and he's converted all three. 3-0-2 left to play here in the third quarter. Khan. Up top now it's Webb, Bell right side. Bell will bring it back out to Webb. Left side, Carr tipped it. Can't save it though. It'll be Lyle basketball. Velasquez to inbound. Again, the... Knights are part of the Suburban Christian Conference. They're on the Suburban Christian Blue. Along with Aurora Christian. Chicago Christian as Webb shot is blocked by Brian Harvey. Walter Lutheran, Aurora Central, Montini, St. Edward. On the other side, it's St. Francis, Marion Central, Marmion, Rosary, Wheaton Academy, and Garen Prep. 2.30 left to play. If you are viewing from the Chicago area, hope you are preparing for the brief snowstorm we are set to get. Oh, Khan, what a great shot and a foul by Kazim Khan. This time the foul again on Lestina. That's his third personal with a look of disbelief. Kazim Khan. Looking to convert the three-point play. Free throw is no good. 44-31. Still a 13-point lead for the Knights. Coming up on two minutes to play. Harvey up top. Photographers on the stage getting some great photographs. Basket good for Brian Harvey in a foul. Wow, fouls on Julian Velasquez. That is his third person, Brian Harvey. High field goal percentage today. Seven field goals, 10 attempts. Free throw is no good, however. He missed, he's missed his last three from the strike. Chain, the step in jumper, no good. Rebound, Webb. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Lyle basketball with 150 left to play. 46-31, 15-point lead for the Knights. Again, if you like what you see, Khan three good for Kazim Khan. Lestina had a hand in his face. So Kazim Khan, all of a sudden, starting to feel it. 1.30 left to play. Khan quickly all of a sudden with 18 points, 10 coming here in the third quarter. Follows on Cam Bell, and so that will send John Chang to the free throw line. Second on Bell. Chang at the stripe. Nothing but net on the first for Mr. Chang. Checking in is number 22, Daniel Rabanda. 
Rabondo now will check in, replacing Mike Listina. Picked up three fouls. Stina, the senior. Chang, two of two on that free throw trip. Three for four now from the line. Bell's jump pass deflected out of bounds by Brian Harvey. Forty-eight to thirty-four. Three on the way. Con no good. Here come the Knights. They've got no numbers. Carr will slow it up on the left side. Now it's Chain. With one minute remaining here in the third. 48 to 34. Knights with the lead and the basketball. Holding right side now is Adam Muller. So he'll get the screen from Rabondo. Rabondo rolls. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Nick Salt. Dead ball with 50.3 seconds left. Rabondo to inbound for the Knights. Immaculate conception with the lead. They go cross court in the corner for Chang. Design play. It's good from three. John Chang. 51 to 34. 37 seconds left to play. Largest lead of the ball game now at 17 points. Twenty-five seconds left. Webb, right side to Khan. Two-three zone. In the middle, Velasquez. That's how you beat the zone. Try to work the middle. High off the glass, no good. Rebound with 12 seconds left. Here comes Chang now with eight. Chang walks it across the timeline. He's got six. Now with five. Now with four. Three. Rebundo three. Good. A 20-point lead and a quick 6-0 run at the end. A couple of knockdown threes, one from Chang, one from Rabondo. A 20-point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. 54-34, immaculate conception over the Lyle Lions. Wow, what an end to the third quarter. We'll have the fourth for you in just a sec. It's HighSchoolCube.com, the leading broadcast platform for high schools. Final quarter, set to begin. It'll be Lyle basketball. But two quick threes at the end of the third quarter, one by John Chang and the other by Dan Rabondo. is the Knights' largest lead of the ball game, 20 points, 54-34. On the floor for Lyle. Here's Velasquez, foot on the line. It's a two, and it's good for Velasquez. His second field goal. He has seven. Rabundo, baseline, dump off. Mullers, too strong on the layup. Rebound, Webb. Webb, Bell, Saul, Kahn, and Velasquez. They have Velasquez and Kahn open on the weak side at the three point arc. Nobody saw him. Ball was tipped out of bounds. Into the game is Jackson Fout for the first time. On the floor for the Knights is Dunn, Pekolnik, Rabundo, Fout, and Mullers. Bell, Velasquez, back to Bell. Webb, open for a sec. Now at the elbow is Khan. Left side, back out Webb. Webb puts it on the ground. Khan, thought about three. Takes two steps in the lane. He draws the foul. 
Team Khan knows how to get to the free throw line. They say he was not shooting, though. They say the foul, the foul was on the floor. The foul was on Dan Ribondo. That's his third personal. Khan again in the middle. Gets Pekolnik up. Basket good and a foul. Textbook basketball right there. The shot fake. Get your man up. Throw the shot up. Hopefully it goes in. It did for Khan and for Pekolnik. If the, if the foul is on him, indeed it is, that's his fourth personal. Oh, four on Charlie Pekolnik. Free throw is no good. But then we got an offensive foul on Nick Saul with the push underneath. So Saul hooks up his second personal. Khan missed the free throw. He has missed his last two from the strike. 54 to 38. Lyle has scored the first four points of the fourth quarter and a travel by Adam Mullers. Couldn't handle the pass. Can Lyle put on a big time run to get back into the ball game? They've already scored the first four. A three perhaps would give them the first seven. And then a turnover, however, as Webb threw it inside of target. Saul was in the corner. He threw it to the wing. 6.38 left to play. Here is Dunn. Dribbling with the left hand. Jackson fouled open for a jumper. No good. Three Lions go for it, and it's Cam Bell who comes away. Bell, cross court. Khan thought about it again. Inside the jump stop. Offensive foul. This time, Mr. Khan a little out of control. The first personal, Kazim Khan. Velasquez now out. Glavanovic will check back in. Six minutes and 17 seconds left to play here in the fourth quarter. Neil Williams, Jr. Jim McAteer, done. Had the right idea, tried to beeline pass to Rabundo, but he could not hang on to it. And a timeout called by Coach Mark Lascala. It is a full timeout by Mr. Lascala, head coach for Lyle. Of course, we'd like to thank everybody here at Immaculate Conception. The athletic director. Here's Darren Howard. President and principal is Pamela LeVar. The pastor is Father Thomas Paul. I'd like to thank everyone here at IC, Immaculate Conception, for having us, providing us the hospitality. I'd like to thank Jim McAteer, producer on site. I'd like to thank Coach Darren Howard, also acts as the athletic director. It means a good when you can... Um, by the double dip, AD, head coach. I think Michael Nolte and, of course, you, the fans and the viewers of these schools. One of the timeouts, it's Saul, Webb, Khan, Levanovitz, and Campbell. The 2 3 zone put on by Immaculate Conception, John Chang back into the game. Along with Pekolnik, Jackson Fout, Brian Harvey, and Dan Rabundo. Lovanovitz now. Webb, three on the way from Nick Saul. Baseline no good. Rebound, Brian Harvey. 540 left to play. John Chang. Rabondo thought about three. He drives the baseline. And then we have a foul. Foul is on Jeremy Glavanovitz. That is his second person. Two shots for Dan Rabondo. First one is good. 
Rondo now with six. Make that seven. First points of the house, excuse me, of the quarter. For Immaculate Conception. Wild three-point shot, and very short in the air ball, as you hear the chant from the student section. From Patrick Webb. 520 left to play. Foul throws it to nobody. Rabundo able to save. Harvey had it. Now it's Cam Bell. Turnover. By the Knights. Bell. Glavanovitz holding baseline up top. Webb takes his time. Five minutes left to play. Webb. Al Khan, another three. Kasim Khan. Khan now with his third triple. Well, the ball game, 56-41. All of a sudden, it's a 15-point advantage for Immaculate Conception. Lyle still hanging tough. Webb with the defense. The five-second call by Charlie Pokolnik. Pokolnik's had a tough night. He had four fouls, and he gets called with a five-second violation. Demetrius Carr now will check in. Patrick Webb checks out. Johnny Perillo now will run the offense for Lyle with 4.30 left to play. Oh, great pass from Glavanovitz to Nick Saul. Glavanovitz right in the middle of that zone, able to find Saul on the left side of the baseline. 56-43, Lyle digging into the lead here. Car jumper no good. Oh, two Lions had the rebound, but Brian Harvey takes it right away. Brian Harvey with his eighth field goal, tries to take the charge, and he does. He's successful at that. Offensive foul on Johnny Perillo. So Shane Murray now will check in for Nick Saul. Jackson Fout now will check out for the Knights. And Pat Radaha will check in. So in the game for the first time for Lyle. And Zach Trussell. Fifty-eight forty-three, three thirty left to play. Chain dump off car. It looked like he traveled. Car jump stop. The dump off inside. Ball on the ground. Trussell there. Two knights have it. Loose ball still, and the referees has to break it up. So it looked like it is. They're still talking about it. Players rolled the other way, however, so they're not sure. Is it Lyle Ball? They say white basketball. Okay. So it'll be Knights basketball into the game for Lyle. Dylan Sin seeing his first action. Sin trying to keep his teammates enthused. And in the swing of things here, also on the floor for Lyle is Parker Murray, number five. Yeah. And John Chang beats the defense now for his fourth field goal attempt. 60 to 43. Murray, three. It's the glass. It won't go. Rebound. Carr up ahead. Harvey. And Harvey is fouled by Perillo. Under three minutes left to play. And Coach Howard beginning to empty the bench. Brian Harvey at the free throw line. The foul was on Johnny Perillo. Picked up his second personal. Harvey's free throw is good. Harvey, excuse me, Carr, Rabundo, and Chang will check out. Into the game now is Cody Baker. Dan Vatch. And checking in after the Harvey free throw is good. It has been 
Gavarowski. 255 left, 62-43. Brian Harvey leaves in an outstanding basketball game. So getting a reset for Immaculate Conception. Dan Vatch, Ben Gavarowski, Tim Hipskind, Pat Radaha, and Cody Baker. It's in the game for Lyle. Holding with the ball now was Perillo for a second. Murray loses it out of bounds. Shane Murray, that was Patrick, uh, excuse me, Patrick Webb, I beg your pardon. Or Parker Murray. Parker Murray. Dylan Sin. Zach Trussell. Shane Murray. And Mr. Johnny Perillo. You like that name. 209 left to play. 62-43. Cross court. Baker had it, lost it now. Back on the ground. Vatch has it. Vatch the bounce pass. It goes right off the chest. The chest of Tim Hipskind. But with 152 left inside, Shane Murray blocked by Hipskind. Leading the break. Cody Baker and Baker out of control. Offensive foul on Cody Baker. So Mr. Baker coming in, wasting no time. Corey Vaughn now will check in for Lyle. One thirty-five left to play. Vaughn will fire a three. Nothing but net. Well, Cody Vaughn wastes no time. He gets on the scoreboard. 62-46 in favor of Immaculate Conception. Aha, uh -huh. batch inside hip skin. Back out, Corey Baker, the jumper. Rimming, no. Rebound. Radaha. Or Radaha. It's his first two points. 64-46 now, under a minute left to play. And Clark Brinkman will be... Set to check in if he gets an opportunity on the next dead ball. Baker running the floor. Baker around Perillo, an offensive foul, Cody Baker. Baker can't believe it. Clark Briefman now will check in for Radaha. Brian Harvey. Leading score for Immaculate Conception with 20 points. Thirteen for Demetrius Carr. Ball tipped out. Almost stolen. Lyle still has it. He gives way. And here is Perillo with 26 seconds left to play. And then we have a quick foul. It's a blocking foul on the Knights. Foul is on Ben Gavarowski. Ten team fouls apiece now. At the line is Johnny Perillo. First one is good for Johnny. Good on the pair is Perillo, 20 points also for Kasim Khan for the Lyle Lions. 17 seconds left, inside layup, good for Clark Brinkman. Oh, Clark gets into the scoring column here in this ball game. Quick three from Dylan Sin, no good, and this one will do it. 66 to 48. Immaculate Conception, dominating performance led from start to finish. A solid effort put on by Brian Harvey. He had 20 points, 13 points for Demetrius Carr. John Chang was successful as well. 12 points for John Chang. We heard the PA announcer get a little funny. Said Tim Tebow was going to be at Friday night's game. 
Wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Tebow did show up. And 20 points, great effort by Kazim Khan in a losing effort. As Lyle now will fall to 5-12, and 12. Immaculate Conception improves to a very good 14-1. and one. Again, their lone loss came to Nazareth Academy on January 3rd. This Immaculate Conception squad defeated, or excuse me, won the Westminster Christian Thanksgiving Tournament and their own Christmas tournament. Again, started the season 12-0, and 0, now sitting at 14-1. and 1. Well, that'll do it for us. 66 to 48 your score. Immaculate Conception defeats Lyle. The Knights over the Lions for Mr. Jim McAteer, our on-site producer. My name is Emil Williams Jr. and everybody, we thank you for watching and tuning in. Until next time, my name is Emil Williams Jr. saying so long from Immaculate Conception High School. This has been a presentation of HighSchoolCube.com, of course, the leading broadcast platform for high schools.